With Monarch's Excel Worksheet Design feature, you can easily extract data from worksheets having several levels of data. Templates and traps are easily defined and refined to capture even irregularly structured data. Here we have an Excel workbook showing sales for three stores. Aside from the store logo, address, and date, there are different sections representing different transactions. Each section starts with the cashier, receipt number, and discount, followed by the items purchased and then the total. The items purchased comprise the detail section. The data above the detail, such as the discount, receipt, and cashier, are considered appends. Lastly, we have the footer, which in our case is the total. The next two sheets follow the same structure for the store's transactions. Let's open the file in Monarch's Excel worksheet design. By default, we already have a detailed template set up, but we still need to define traps so that Monarch will know what cell properties to watch out for when capturing data. That would be properties such as alignment, font, borders, and so on. One way to set traps and capture data is to select one of the detail rows and choose Add Columns. This easily creates a trap for us. The solid triangles that appear in the worksheet mean that a trap is created out of column A and data will be extracted from the marked cells as we see in the preview grid below. Let's clear this out and look at other ways to capture data. We can also choose where we want the trap to be created. For instance, let's try column B, the code field. For that, choose Add Trap. As we saw earlier, we now have solid triangles on column B where the trap is based. Next, we choose which columns we want to capture by either using the Add Column button or using the right-click menu. This is particularly useful if we are not getting all the columns as we did with Add Columns. With our detail columns in place, let's set the column headers which are on row 12 and choose Define Headers. The preview grid now has the correct column names. Let's now capture a few of the append fields starting with the discount. Click on Capture this data as an append, and a new column is now added to the preview grid. Now let's rename this template as Discount, and do the same for the column as well. Next, let's move on to the Receipt field, which is also an append. This time, however, instead of the receipt numbers, we are getting zeros. Here's where the cell information comes into play. Notice that the receipt and discount values have the same settings for the alignment, background, and font properties. However, they differ in terms of the borders property. The receipt has this set to none, and we see this as well in the worksheet where the receipt does not have any border. Row 17, on the other hand, where the discount is, has a bottom border. And this is reflected as well in the cell information. With that, we can refine our trap by going to the Trap tab of our Append template and choosing Edit. Here we see that the trap currently has rules for cell values, font, and alignment. Cell decorations are not considered for now. Under cell value rules, you can specify whether you want a cell value to start with, end with, or contain specific text, require a blank or non-blank value, require that it be a number, currency, or date, and so on. There are additional options to specify case sensitivity or if you want the opposite of what you defined for the rule. 
you can create multiple rules as well. In the Font tab, you can define rules concerning the name, size, color, and so on, and these can be negated as well. For alignment rules, you can specify the horizontal and vertical alignments you want to watch out for. Right now, there are no cell rules. Notice that when we include cell decorations, the correct receipt values are captured. This is because the rule for having no bottom border is now included in our trap. Now that we have our receipt values, we can rename the append and the column as receipt. Let's now change the data type of the receipt to character instead of number and do the same for the code we got earlier as well. Finally, let's get the cashier. This time, instead of using the Capture This Data as an Append option, go to New Template and choose Append. Add a trap based on the cashier value, and then choose Add Column to bring the data to the preview grid. As we did with the other appends, let's rename the template and column as Cashier. Lastly, let's get the footer. Choose Footer under New Template. Let's set a trap on the cell with the total text. This time, let's try a value trap. We want to watch out for cells having the word total, so we choose Exact Match. This is what the corresponding rule looks like. Next, select the total value and choose Add Column. Rename the column and we're done. We've now seen how to capture detail, append, and footer data manually and via convenience features as well. We can now bring the data captured from this worksheet into the Data Prep Studio's prep interface. Here we can perform data preparation, transformation, and analysis.